Hey, Jared here. This is a free lesson sample from my course called the Best Beginner Guitar Course, which right now for the second time ever is open for enrollment. If you're watching this the week that this video comes out, I'm going to share a free lesson uh, from this course with you here. This is a comprehensive and thorough program. You can see it says 293 lessons right here. That's not to overwhelm you. A lot of those are guided practice sessions to help you pace yourself and practice everything and actually make progress. This program is designed to take any beginner level player, whether you're just starting out or having been playing for years and get you to a solid and confident intermediate level of playing and fill in all the gaps and have a versatile well-rounded foundation of the fundamentals and expose you to various styles techniques and everything you need to know we're going to go to level four here this is like module four and we're going to go to the fretboard fundamentals category every module cycles through the same categories so every section every level will have a fretboard fundamentals lesson as the first lesson for example and then each of these repeat and build on themselves. We're going to share with you here the octave portal exercise that I taught right here in this lesson. And if you want to learn more about this course before we dive into the free lesson, you can click on the link in the top of the description because this is open for enrollment for the second time ever. There's a discount and a big bonus that you can get. Uh, and if you're not interested, that's totally fine. If you go to that link, it'll take you to this page here. You can just click on this video and learn all about the details of the course and what is included or scroll down and learn all about it there let's go into this lesson and whether you're interested in the course or not doesn't matter i hope this is extremely valuable for you i chose a lesson that i think will be helpful totally out of context of the program and that you might enjoy and benefit from for a long time so let's do it <music> Welcome to module number four. This is the first lesson in module number four. This is the fretboard fundamentals category, and this one is called the octave portal. This whole module is going to have a lot of exercises, a lot of music, a lot of things to practice. Uh, and I will continue to remind you throughout the module and the course to not get overwhelmed, but to, you know, trust the process, show up regularly, focus on consistency when needed, focus on enjoyment next, use the practice priority pyramid. And I will show you everything in the lessons I need to, to get you going with the exercises and the real learning will increasingly happen from the actual practicing. But of course, I need to teach you what you need to know to understand what's happening in the exercises. And this lesson is a very powerful one. This is a true logic of the fretboard lesson. This kind of information is stuff that some players for years leave out of their like practice plate, so to speak. And they can play all kinds of things. They can sound good, even improvise. But by not understanding what I call the logic of the fretboard, they miss out on understanding how to speak the language of music on the guitar. We want to see the fretboard in the way that we imagine that a piano player sees the piano, just like ultra clarity in terms of all the relationships uh, of the pitches and the notes uh, that are there in front of us. And there is very much a logic of the fretboard. And we're going to learn one of the absolute secret ingredients of it here. And it is learning how to see and hear and find and play octaves all over the guitar. I'm calling it the octave portal just for fun because it can transition you anywhere on the fretboard and it can help you find any note name on the fretboard. So later in the module, we're going to learn how to find all the note names of the fretboard with this little hack, if you will. So an octave is simply an interval. We learned about intervals before. So it's the distance between two notes and it's the distance between two notes that are the same note, but they are a register apart. They are the same pitch, but in another range. So if you're going do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, 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 do. Those two notes are an octave apart. They are both that same note. They're both do. They are both C as far as how I played it right here. And that is what an octave is. It's the distance of eight notes, just like seven notes is a seventh interval. Six notes is the interval of a six. Well, eight notes is the interval of an octave. So instead of calling it an eighth, we call it an octave. Okay, so that is what an octave is. And it's going to be very powerful for us to know. The 12th fret is an octave from any of the open strings. So this is a really useful thing to just understand right away. Most guitars will have a double dotted inlay, or you might see it up above on the guitar too. You see, I have 
dots where I can see them from the player view, and then you have inlays on the fretboard potentially. If you don't, that's okay. Some guitars don't have them, but you should always know where the 12th fret is one way or another. Some guitars have the 12th fret right up to the body, and that's how you know that it's the 12th fret. So if you play an open string and then you play the 12th fret, you're playing an octave interval. Open B, that means this is B. So you know all the open string names. Now you know all the letter names, note names on the 12th fret. This is open G. This is G on the 12th fret. This is open D. This is D on the 12th fret. Open A, A, open E, E. So that is kind of a built-in octave that we have already. It's a very important one to know. Also, you already know what how to find two octaves, because we've talked about this before, any note along the top E string or along the bottom E string, you swap them like I have in this little diagram here, this little image, you move it to the other E and you have found the same note and this time it is two octaves apart. So right here happens to be A. We're gonna use that later in this module. We're gonna know what all these note names are later. This happens to be A. Well, if you move that note or play the top string instead, it's two octaves up, not just one octave, but way higher up, two octaves. Because here's A, here's one octave up, as we learned, and here's two octaves up. So much higher, but the same pitch. And remember how we learned about this pitch being A440, 440 vibrations per second. So if you think of pitches as vibrations per second or hertz, then you can actually think of an octave being literally, in terms of physics, double the vibrations, okay? so. If we have this A is 220 vibrations per second in the air, that's what makes that sound, when well, this is 440 vibrations per second. This is 110 vibrations per second. So it's just math and physics in terms of actual vibrations. And for every vibration, when you double them, you get an octave. Double them again, you get an octave. Pretty cool stuff. Nice to know it that way. Nice to kind of understand that very basic, just what's happening in terms of true vibrations. And then your eardrum is vibrating at exactly that number of vibrations per second, which is why you hear it as what it is. Pretty interesting stuff. I don't know anything more about all of that than that much of it, but kind of cool to know that. So we need to learn the octave shapes. And then I'm gonna teach you an exercise that if you just drill the exercise, you're gonna embed this into your knowledge, into your playing, into your hands, and it's gonna be amazing and really, really great for your guitar playing. So there are four octave shapes that we are going to learn. I call them shapes, just like we think of chords as chord shapes. They are physical distances on the fretboard. So there's four. There is the up and towards the body. So the pitches are going to sound like they're going up and physically you're moving uh, going from one note towards the body. You'll see because we're going to practice this. And then there's up and towards the head of the guitar. Then the pitches go down, but physically go towards the head of the guitar and down and towards the body. Probably confusing right now, but watch as we, as we practice these and show you more examples of it. So here is up and towards the body. So let's say you want the octave of this fret where you're going up and the pitches are going up, or you can say you're going up the strings to from the lower string, thicker string to the higher string. So you're going up this way and you're going two frets over and two strings up, and that is an octave shape. So you have to memorize and learn this shape and you will practice it with my exercises to do this. So that is the distance from this note to this note. Same distance here, two, two frets over, two strings up. But now off the fourth string, we go two strings up in, again, but we have to go three frets over. And that's because the tuning of the guitar changes as we know from learning the note, the note names, or rather as we know from learning the intervals, of the open strings. There's an interval of a fourth and a fourth and a fourth. And then the third and second string are a third apart. So you don't need to know why or really fully wrap your head around it right now. But because of that, interval shapes, chord shapes, things change as we move them around the fretboard. This is still an octave, but physically we have to reach an extra fret. And then that's the same shape there. So kind of handy for this first category up and towards the body. You can think of it as you get two of them that span two frets and two of them that span three frets. And remember, the practicing itself will force you to know this. So even if you're like, I'm not going to remember this while you're watching this right now, that's okay. Just take it in. And then it'll make the exercises make sense when we get to working on those. Now we have up and towards the head. So we're going up to the higher strings. We're going up in pitch, but we're moving physically to the left in this case, or towards the head of the guitar. So off the sixth string, we have to move four strings up and four frets over. 
okay? And you don't have to, th you can think of it any way you want to. Once you're practicing it, you'll just have to find a way to, to do it. And then off the fifth string, this is the shape. And off the fourth string, it's the same shape, okay? So just showing you kind of visual examples of it because it'll make it easier to practice. Now we have going down and towards the head. So we're thinking of it off of the higher string. So let's say you're starting here. I should have had the arrow go one direction because I'm saying down and towards the head, but obviously the octave works either way. We're on this highest string here and we have to go down three strings. You're, you're spanning three thing, strings total and four frets total. Same space, same space, same space. You're gonna practice these, okay? And then down and towards the body. So if you start here, you have to cross four strings total. So these are all the same notes, all the same notes when you move them, okay? Just so you hear exactly what's showing on the uh, diagram right now. Without showing you my guitar, just look at the diagram. Here's what it sounds like. That very top note, I just played it. And then same note here. Okay, I'll play this note here. And then I'm gonna play this note here. Same note, and then I'll play this note here. And then I'll play this note here. Okay, so octaves apart. Let's get to working on it. We wanna do octave, the octave in every direction exercise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play an octave in every possible direction from the fifth fret and off of each string. So the rules are very strict. And remember, I always have a little guitar emoji symbol for you in your PDFs to show you where the actual action items are. So you can flip through that and uh, just know exactly what to practice. So here's how the exercise works. And this diagram might make it a lot simpler seeming for you. The red one is the one we're starting on. Okay, so this note is A, and you can just think of it as fifth fret. We are on the fifth fret. Should sound like that when you're in standard tuning. We are on the fifth fret, and then you want to play every octave you can from there. Because it's on the sixth string, we only have two octaves. You're gonna go up this way and up this way. But you always think of, could I get the four? Okay, I can go up this way, I can go up this way, I can go down to the left, I can go down to the right, if there's room. We can't go down at all because we're on the lowest string. So you can look at these diagrams to do these exercises, then I will demonstrate the full thing for you in the guitar view in a second. But basically, you're gonna play this note, play the octave, play this note, play the octave, come back to this note. Boom, did it off that note. Then you go to same fret next string, play this note as the octave, play the main note, play the octave, play the main note, play the octave, come back. You're just going to a note, playing all the octaves off of it. Ah, now the fourth string, same fret. And I don't really care what order you play them in, you just wanna play every octave off of this note that you can find, but now we're high enough, high enough up on the strings that you can play an octave down. So you're gonna play this note, play the octave, play this note, play the octave, play this note, play the octave, come back to this note. You're just finding all the octaves, really cool exercise. You can look at this diagram while you do it and then try to get to the point where you don't have to look at the diagram. Next string, same thing. You play the note, what are all the octaves off of it that you play? And then you move on to the next one. This note, what are all the octaves off of it? Now we just have two. Top string, we just have two, okay? So let's go ahead and demonstrate all of those for you right here. It's exactly how the exercise works. And of course I'm seeing the logic of the fretboard so I don't need to look at the diagrams and that's what you want to aspire to get towards. You're playing the fifth fret, this is A. Then you're gonna play octave. You hear it's the same note. And if it doesn't sound like the same note to you, that's okay, you'll learn to feel like that's the same note. Then you're gonna play A, any finger, and then you play this octave, and then back to it. Done, next string. Fifth fret, fifth string. Octave up, back down. Octave over here, there it is, almost played the wrong one. Back down, you're done, next string. Okay, any order you want. Let's play the octave down here, and then back. Octave here, then back. Octave here, then back. Pretty cool, right? All the octaves nearby, all the octaves you can play around it, we're just mapping that out, okay? Let's play the octave below over here, then back, below here, then back, and then above here. We just have three of them. Now, if you're like, how am I ever gonna get those down? Well, this is exactly how, this is how. So don't be like, I don't know the shape. Well, that's the point of the exercise. The exercise will teach you the shape and you trouble over it, you stumble over it, you 
work on it for as long as you need to, as many practice ses sessions as you need to. And before you know it, you'll be like, yes, of course, if this is my note, this note down here below it, two strings down, two frets over is the same note. I just want you to know that like the back of your hand. And by doing this exercise, that will teach you that and let it take as much time as it needs. You go to the next string, you say, what are the octaves I can play from here? You can't play any above it now, okay? So, okay, well, there's an octave here and there's an octave here. Done, top string. There's an octave here and there's an octave here, okay? And I have, you know, I know this stuff, so I'm just doing it quickly. But at first it'll be like, whoa, where is that? What is that? But that is the logic of the fretboard. It will help you so much with navigating around in all kinds of ways, whether that's just finding note names or moving melodies or improvising or composing or name it, you name it, okay? So we're not done yet. We have a lot of exercises in this module. I'll try to make the teaching videos a little snappier, which I'm not doing in this one, but, um, but I'm excited about stuff, so I get kind of into it. The octave exercise from every open string um, is also very powerful. So you want to start on an open string of the, the low E or the high E, and then you're gonna play an octave and it's gonna travel you all the way up the neck. I'll show you a diagram in a second. When you get to the E string, you jump to the same fret on that E string. And you can do this off of, actually I might even say that you do this off of any other open string, but here's an example off of high E. If you start here, and if you're on either of the high E or the low E, you jump to the other E. Okay, then you go up an octave towards the body. It's your only option. Up an octave towards the body. Down an octave towards the body. You're just moving towards the body every time. And what does this do? It shows you, gives you every single E that uh, exists on the fretboard, okay? So I wanna demonstrate the whole exercise for you. And ideally, Actually, not ideally, this is the way I signed it. I want you to do this off of every open string, which is why I called it that. Octave exercise from every open string, it's going to be very powerful. So here it is, off of that high open E, and then that low open E. Now I go up to this octave, this is E. Here's the octave shape. You can only do this after knowing the octave shapes from the other exercise. E, 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 octave shape. If you have room, you can keep going. But you only need to go up to 12th fret at least. And then you go back down. Definitely always return. E. Okay. We're traveling either towards the head or towards the body. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the B string. And now you need to do it on all six strings. B. What's the octave towards the body? It's here. Okay, what's the next octave towards the body? It's here. What's the next octave toward the body? It's here. Okay, now that we're here, we part of our rules is that we jump to the other E string. That's B. These are all Bs. We started on an open B. Octave from B towards the body. Octave towards the body. You could stop there if your guitar kind of cuts you off or you can keep going a little bit. If you're playing an electric guitar, you might have more room if you have a cutaway. Okay. Back down, octave towards the head, octave towards the head, octave towards the head, flip to the other E string, octave towards the head, octave towards the head, octave towards the head, you're back at open B, okay? I'll do one more with the open G. It works the same, you just wanna do it with all the strings. G, octave towards the body, octave towards the body, octave shape towards the body, octave shape towards the body, octave shape towards the body hey look at that we're on the 12th fret which you'll always end up at at some point because we know that we started on an open string and uh we know that that's an octave okay there's g there there's g there oh i do i broke my own rules but you see how it still works if you accidentally break the rules i started on g and i went here and then i went to this but i didn't do the jump to the other e if i do i would end up on the same path anyway g g jump to the other E string. That's still the note G. Octave towards the body, octave towards the body, octave towards the body. So you see, even though I missed that, all the rest of them were exactly the same still. I might as well demonstrate for you faster off D.
back down. This is D, 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 D. Pretty cool. And this is not a way to find note names, like say, oh, I want to know what this note name is, and you do that. No, it's a way to practice octaves. A, 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 A. Okay, going back down, these are all A. Okay, pretty cool, right? It, it should be really fun, and, and just take your time, it's a puzzle. And then I have a little piece of music for you, because I am always trying to... Um, incorporate everything we're learning about how music works, the language of it, the logic of it, the structure of it, the theory of it, so you can really get inside music. Well, over the rainbow, the very beginning phrase, the somewhere, uh, the word somewhere is known as kind of a go-to example of an octave used in music. Somewhere. <laughs> Excuse my singing. Somewhere. So I'm giving that to you here. Just so you have that. That's all we're getting. We'll get a little more of it later. Somewhere. A lot of people actually remember the sound of an octave because of this. They'll think, oh, what does somewhere over the rainbow sound like? Oh, that's an octave. Cool. Now I know how to sing it right now or use it or whatever. So that's a lot. That's your logic of the fretboard. Absolute cornerstone of understanding the logic of the fretboard. You can almost navigate anything else you want from there with a little theory knowledge and with knowing how that works. Um, so I hope you enjoy working on it. And that's everything for this lesson. All these exercises are in your PDF and I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that and benefited from it. This was a free lesson from my course, The Best Beginner Guitar Course, which right now, if you're watching this video, when it came out on YouTube this week right now, it is open for enrollment for the second time ever. And if you click on the link in the top of the description, it'll take you to this page here. You can watch this video that tells you all the details about the course and about the deal that is happening this week if you sign up before the deadline. If you're that's not your thing or you're not a total beginner, totally fine, all good. Just wanted to share this free lesson with you here. Looking forward to seeing you in another lesson soon. Take care and happy practicing.